Hello and welcome to another bug fix. In this one, we are gonna handle a. Let me see what it said here. How would it, how would I make it so two stacks of the same item add to each other when one uh, is drag and dropped on top of the other? Okay, so we're gonna add that functionality to our system over here. What we can do in the very start is open up our inventory slot, our WBP inventory slot. We can go to the graph on that and go to on drop. So you can find your BP inventory. Inside of BP inventory, we are going to we're going to add a couple of functions. So we have the uh, add item at index with quantity. Underneath that, we're going to call a add to stack, and another one which is swap items at index. On our add to stack, we're going to have two inputs, both integers, and it's going to be index one and index two. We're going to have a output, which is going to be remaining, and another one which is going to be boolean of success. We're going to add a couple things. First of all, let's promote these to local. So local index one. Now we're going to have a branch with a condition of a number. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our inventory slot contents. We're going to get a copy at both of these. So we're going to get it at an index number two first so down here. We can just block that up there and then have index number one. Out from index number one, you can break that and do the same thing for index two. Let's handle the condition first. So the item, we're going to get the defaults. We'll break on the item info. Inside of item info, we have our max stack size. Inside of uh, up here, where we got our quantity. So we want to check if the quantity that is incoming plus the quantity at index two already is greater than the max stack size of index two. If this is false, then very simple. We're going to get a return down there. We're going to get our inventory slots. We're going to set array elements. The item can be split open. The item that we're going to set it to is the one from our local index, local index one. The quantity comes from our local index one, size to fit, and the index is, of course, local index two. After this is done, we can remove local index one. So basically, just copy this, remove local index two down here, and plug in local index one. Add that to the index, leave everything else as blank, and we can return with a success. This is if the Incoming one plus the quantity that we have is less than the max stack size. We just add to add to the stack. If, however, it is greater. So after that, we're going to get our inventory slots for local index one. Out from our addition here, we're going to do a minus. So if incoming quantity plus local index two quantity is greater than the max stack size. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's greater than max stack size. We're going to take that value. We're going to minus the max stack size. We're going to get our quantity up here. We're going to minus that. So we're going to subtract two times over here. And that will give us a value that we are going to minus once more. And this minus is going to be from the quantity as well. So this, these are steps we take to find out. So this is the finding out the remainder, and then we're finding out how much we should add back into our, into our system. So after this is done, we can get our local index one, plug that into the true. Local index one should be updated with the quantity that we end up with there. The item, doesn't really matter which item it is because we're keeping the stack. We can get the item over there. And then we add our local index two. And local index two should have the quantity of max stack size. It should have the item. It's going to have the same item, so it doesn't matter. And then once this is done, we can return with a success. Pretty much everything, honestly. Uh, let's remove everything from it and let's remove our false branch as well. So if we are a valid class inside of us, inside of uh, where we're dropping, we want to 
get our inventory. Uh, where did I put that inventory at? Meh, inventory ref, there we go. We're gonna add item at index with quantity. So it's not a valid class, we're just removing things, right? And adding a another one. The item that we're gonna add is the incoming item from our dragged item. The quantity comes from our code dragged item. And the index is our index. So this is done, we're gonna remove, have we made that function? Remove item at index, yes we have. After this is done, we're gonna remove the item at the index from our dragged item. And then we can go back into initialize. Also, I might remake the initializing system later on, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, when that is done, if it is a valid class, then we want to check that our quantity is less than uh, the item defaults, break open the item info, is less than the max stack size, which you have over here somewhere, that we don't have. So we're checking if we don't have, if, if we're not capped, basically. And we're going to have an and boolean inside of that. That checks that the item is the same. So let's actually move this one down there. Let's move that one a little bit down. Check that the dragged item it's the same class that we have in here. So we're checking if we have the same class and that we have enough room. If we, if this doesn't check out, so e either it's not the same item or we don't have any room, then we are going to swap items, right? We haven't made that function. So let's head back to our BP inventory and head into our swap items. We're gonna have two inputs here as well. We're gonna have index one, and index two. It's not gonna have any outputs or anything. We can get our contents. We can get a copy. What's that a ref? Get a copy at index. Uh, we, we're also gonna promote these to index one local. So we're gonna get a copy at index one local. We're gonna promote this to a local. We want to get our contents and the ref once more. We want to get the reference at index two this time. We're going to get our contents. We're going to set array element off of that. The index is going to be our local one index. The item, we can just plug in the, the get result there and size that to fit. Once that is done, we need to set the other index, which is index two local. And we need to set that to the item info one holder, right? Because when we do this, this won't be the same anymore unless we change it. If we were to do this and then plug in the, uh, get the reference then to index one, then it wouldn't be the same anymore because it was changed right before. Once this is done, we can return. If uh, everything fails, we're going to swap the items. So let's get our inventory. We're going to swap the items at index. So out from the false, we're going to swap. Here, index two is going to be the drag the index. And index one is going to be our index. Like so. Once this is done, you can go and initialize. However, if uh, everything lines up, we can get our inventory. We can add to stack. The from and the two is, the two is going to be us. And the from is going to be the index from. Uh, I am going to branch this. We are not going into the false and adding anything. So the branch is not necessary because both of these are going to check out with true. It's just for later if we want to add a, a follow-up. Okay, if we now compile, we got an error, and that's simply because I have removed the WBP inventory. So let's get our HUD ref. 
get our inventory and then add that there. So if I now hit play, uh, these are so 64 to two, they will swap places. Do I have anything here to test with? I don't think I have. Okay, now I have one. Uh, let's add this here. Let's get that down there. Now, if I add this into there, that fucked everything up. And that is because we have forgot to plug in our item and set the stack size up to like six, seven. So that's more than one stack for us. If I now do this, go get the wood. Now we have seven and we have two. I can swap these two around. I can go and I can get the wood from the chest. I can add that to the nothing happened there. Uh, 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 and that is to do with that we have plugged in the quantity wrong. So the quantity should go into the addition up there. Now I play and we can add these stacks together and we can swap stacks if they need to be swapped. Give the BP chest the functions that we have made. So we can set that up just so we have it done. And here we want to set up some of the functionality as well. So if the item is not a valid class, we want to add the item at the index with the quantity. So we are going into our BP inventory. We are, uh, do we have that? No, we don't. We're going to copy the function. We're going to add that function into, um, can't really copy like that. Okay. Add item at index with quantity. Add item at index will have three inputs. So uh, the chest, I'm going to set it up for one of these, not for all of them. Quantity item index on our BP inventory. So we can see how this is set up. Now we can just copy this from there. Or this time it's not the, it's, um, the chest contents. It's the, uh, it's not the inventory contents. It's the, uh, yeah. So our add item add index, uh, sets this there and that like so. Uh, we don't have to initialize it there because we are initializing it elsewhere. I don't know why we had that. Probably from 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 different. So now we can get our chest ref. We can add item at index with quantity. We can remove this one. The quantity comes from the dried item. So the quantity comes from the dried item. We can just yoink that from there. The index is our index. The item comes from the dried item. And then we want to remove the item. So we need to set up a new function for that. Go into BP inventory, remove item at index, make that one in our chest as well. Honestly, there might be a reason for why we are keeping, why we are initializing things. We've done this, now we can, was it remove? Yeah. Now we can remove item at index. Plug that into there, like so. Next up we're gonna remove is at our dried item index and plug these two together. Now let us just double check that everything works. In our chest, we can drop things into our chest. Can we drive things out? Nope. Nope. Because we have done something wrong. Ah, stupid me, stupid me. Back into your inventory. We, we, we're not adding to the chest. We're removing from the chest and we're adding to ourselves. So you can just get rid of that, get your inventory ref, and then add item at index with quantity. The quantity comes from the drive item, the item comes from the drive item, the index is going to be ourselves. So that should work uh, fine for now. If I plug that in again, now we should be able to move things freely once more. Above here, now we need to set up our functionality though. So I'm going to remove this. I'm just going to get it out of the way for now. Just ignore me for a little bit while I think. 
and you get our item, get the defaults, break open the defaults, get the uh, max stack size, and our quantity. So get our quantity minus, uh, no, uh, yeah, no, less than, less than the max stack size. So do we have less? This is the same as before. I'm just, yeah. You don't have to follow along if you don't want it to work with your chest. So if it's a valid class, and we want to add boolean, I want to check that um, the incoming item, which we have over here, remove it down there, incoming item is equal to, if that is true, then we want to, uh, no, if, uh, if, uh, yeah, if it's less than, if that is not true, we're going to do that first. We're going to swap the items. And how are we going to swap it, you might ask? Well, very good fucking question. We might add the items instead. Yeah. So instead of swapping them over on our chest, we're going to add and add, basically. So we're going to add items at index. So this is for us. So we're going to give ourselves the item. We're going to give ourselves the quantity that is incoming. And then... No, 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 no. We have to have a reference because now we're we're nulling this out. So we're gonna get our inventory ref. We're gonna get our contents. Then we're gonna promote that to a local, which is gonna be uh, info holder. I think we might already have that info holder swap. Once that is set, we're going to pass through the information coming from our uh, the item that we are dragging, and that should be giving us our our setup. Now we need to give it to the chest. So let's get our let's find our chest somewhere. We can add item at index with quantity. This time the index uh, let us see is the incoming index, the item and the quantity. So that should add it together. Now what we need to do is we need to check if uh, if this is true. So then we need to just add to stack to inventory from chest. And I think we could just add to stack with our normal function then, couldn't we? No, because this actually, this fucks with uh, everything else. Okay, okay, okay. If we add a input to this, and this we call this one from chest and make it out of a Boolean. And then we branch out from that. And then if we say that if it's false, then we go ahead and do whatever we want to do. However, if it's true, right? So let's head into our inventory slot for a second. And here we can set up our from chest to be false. And then down here, we can set up from chest to be true. Index one is our dragged item index. Still, and index two is our index. Uh, set up the branch once more and plug it into the initiate. Okay, now let's go into our add item here. So if it's from a chest, we might want to redo some things, but we might not want to redo everything. So we can just probably just copy this entire thing, but we're not going to, because we're going to go through it again just to make sure that everything is fine. So when we add item to stack, Index, everything that's in, yeah, let's just copy this. Everything that's index one is going to go into the chest. So the chest ref can go away from that. Have an input of BP chest, call it chest ref. Now over here, we can set up our chest ref to be the one that we have to be this one, right? So if it's true, if it's from a chest, we want to, uh, I'm gonna promote that to a local. We go ahead and set all of our, all of our info get set. Local Linux one, get the contents from a chest and then get a reference out from that. Basically everywhere that we have 
index one, we should change it out for chess contents. So index one, set local index one, local index two. If that is greater, if that is not greater, then our chest is going to be blanked out. Or if it is greater, then our chest is going to have the new intel like so. Head back to your inventory slot. Make sure everything's plugged in. It should be working just fine. So now I can do this. Uh, I haven't, we haven't set up the, keep my weapon set up the chest slots. So that's not going to work. I'm going to move my, this one in there. These should stack up. They don't. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I see. I think I see what's going on. This is where we're setting the index. So let's unplug that. Move that up here. I'm going to set these indexes. If it's from a chest, no, then it goes back down here. Or if it is from a chest, we're going to set that. There we go. Now it's working. Awesome. We just had a little bit of uh, debugging to do there, but that basically looks like a fucking shit show i am so sorry and this place isn't any better <laughs> uh if you want to get rid of these all you have to do is get the quantity from the drag items so you just move that down here that handles the combination of stacks and such if you have any more questions let me know i have just finished recording a spell book uh, tutorial so stay tuned for that if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions as well in the comments, that would be great. I try to answer as soon as I can. Remember to like and subscribe if this helped you. And until next time, bye-bye.